last year that the administration seek authorization from Congress before taking any action against Syria. I'm joined now by the Democratic leader, Congresswoman Barbara Lee of California. So nice to have you here. My pleasure. Good to be with you, Melissa. So in your response to President Obama this week, you urged him to lean on his own doctor and articulated recently at West Point commencement and to, to avoid further military entanglement. How confident are you that this administration is going to practice restraint in this case? I think the president has been very clear. First of all, does not intend to send our brave young men and women into combat operation. Having said that, movement of our military assets into the region concerns me for many reasons. One is if, in fact, airstrikes are conducted, uh, we don't know what the unintended consequences could be. Uh, we saw uh, back when President Bush authorized, uh, well, when Congress authorized and President Bush uh, engaged in shock and awe, what happened. Uh, as you said earlier, many of our brave men and women uh, died. Uh, many have come back now. And we have to really address their health and mental health and job issues and, and security. And so this is a very difficult decision, but I think the president has been very careful. He's looking at the alternatives, and I'm confident that he will do the right thing. Uh, this is an issue of sectarian warfare, as you said earlier. Uh, this has been going on for generations, Melissa. There's no military solution, and in fact, we need to encourage a political solution led by the Iraqis, and the United States should not get embroiled in this sectarian warfare. All right, so Congresswoman, let me ask this. Uh, at the point at which you were initially in opposition to U.S. presence in Iraq, I fundamentally understand, and as you, you and I have talked about, respected that position so much. We are now more than a decade past that and have had, we are, we are implicated in this because of our decade of engagement and of course because as we've just talked about, the sacrifices of our troops. Does it put us now more than a decade in, in a different position as we are making a decision about whether or not to be entangled in terms of boots on the ground, military forces as well as, as assets? In other words, does that 10 years change how we ought to make this decision? We need to bring, first of all, our intelligence current, which we are doing, but I think we need back to the drawing board and have a congressional debate. When we debated the resolution to use force in Iraq, this was based upon wep this me weapons of mass destruction. We were told there were weapons of mass destruction and there were immediate threats. That resolution was passed by Congress. I offered an alternative that said, look, before we use force, let us just complete the, the inspections process, allow the United Nations to make a determination as to whether or not there are weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. There were none. And so I believe now, you know, we have to go back, we have to have another congressional debate and make some determinations. The American people deserve to have their members of Congress put out all the options, debate this, and go back to the drawing board to determine our future actions. Now, I tell you, Melissa, I am urging the public to work with us to raise their voices through Stop, Stop Endless, Endless War com. We're urging mem uh, members of the public to please let your members know that we need a debate on this, whatever the outcome, because there is no military solutions. This is a very defining moment for us, and we need to be very serious and very prudent in how we move forward. I think the president is doing that. We need the public to support a very cautious approach and support a political and diplomatic solution. Representative Barbara Lee in San Francisco, California, as always, thank you for joining us. Thank you.